Hello, hello everybody, it's your boy Prof Chop and we're back again with another Can Dank Killer video. It's been about two years and it's been requested quite heavily on the channel. Not this specific video, but I just had to click on it. I mean, look at the title. Absolute Mad Lad is the Booty Warrior. Okay, I had to click on it. Okay? Yeah, I would Let's like go, to yeah. tell the story of What's a up? man who has seemingly found his answer to a question that Five has bodies, befuddled all men bodies, I don't since know. we left the body? sports sell stage and started waddling around on our hands and feet. Wait, is that a one punch man in the back? Yo, that's dope you as hell. All know this oh, question. it's a baby from uh, Death Stranding. Are you a boob? Waifu. Or a bum man? I have to use but. those... But for sure. Childlike infantilized words because YouTube says no naughty words in the first minute of a video. Pretty much, well, yes. Well, today's That's man of works, the hour is a fanatic for the latter. A posterior paladin whose hyperfixation on the paladin. end has had him elevated to being an annoying icon of light? all re-rendered but trials. Light? Immortalized in memory for his bravado and bluntness uh -huh. but bluntness. he was also a man whose name struck absolute fear into every inmate in the american oh, prison guy system. A prisoner. oh god you know the, the guys that they tell you to watch out for in the showers yes that's well, him those guys watch are out for afraid it? of this god, man damn, the butt pilot is insane okay fleece johnson fleece johnson the booty warrior the booty warrior Guy meets these. By the way, for some reason, YouTube uh, made this playlist, my Count Ankler playlist, into a, 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 a what was it called? Those longer format videos. I don't know why they did that. Please, Johnson. Please. please leave a like and a comment on this video because on this it one really as well, please. helps me in the algorithm. It does. West End, Louisville, Kentucky, Kentucky. 1954. 1954. Our barbarian enters the Holy earth as Fleece Pepper. Jerome Johnson. <laughs> and soon he would be entering <laughs> a lot more things. Not much is known about Fleece during his early life, but he always had a rebellious streak in him, mm -hmm. committing his oh, first prison, crime so. of stealing Not a car surprised. at the ripe age of just 12. A telling sign... How the hell do you steal a car at 12? In the 60s? It's a shift car of how brazenly ballsy this butt bandit was even as a teenager so it shouldn't surprise okay we shouldn't be saying butt bandit for 12 year olds okay spent most That's scary. of his youth generally being a petty criminal uh -huh. frequenting juvie and Wait, generally is still in a car a petty crime though just being a fly hood rat then there is fleecy's father asif who was asif. apparently in the taliban oh no, oh. seriously, he was apparently literally Holy a boss shit. in the Taliban, who, alongside the usual crimes of his profession, like terrorism and mass murder, he was also accused of being a gay rapist. Now, you might be thinking... Oh boy, it's in the DNA, I guess. A gay rapist in the Taliban? Surely not. Yeah, isn't it against okay. the religion or something? Right, Wait. If you know any veterans who served in Afghanistan... Ask them if they liked going on patrol on Thursday nights. But anyway, as we will soon see... I mean, I don't know, but if somebody knows, I'm curious. What the hell? Apple does not fall far from the tree. <laughs> assuming that the whole dad being on the, the Taliban thing is actually true. Which, it might not be. But fuck it, it's my head cannon now. But don't After say but fuck it, please. Not in this video, brother. And a car theft, the first crime each that finally had Big Fleece put into Big Boy Jail was when at just 15 years old, Fleece drew a gun on police officers Whoa. and took their guns from them. After seeing his cousin John Sanders on the ground being arrested. Upon fucking around, he eventually found out when the police Good. caught up to him. To which they decided they that fuck him. around Fleece should spend some time in adult prison. I mean, he was only hey, listen, I absolutely agree. There are certain claims that if you do that shit, and especially if you do it enough, I don't care if you're 15 years old. 
quickly you do 15 years adult crime ago. serve adult jail yeah bitch. this story quickly had a much more depressing undertone yeah. But either way, now I mean, we can get into some of his shenanigans in the slammer and showcase his character slamming pre- and post booty baptism. On the 26th of June 1969, <laughs> after a plea agreement, Fleece Johnson <laughs> agreed to spend 12 years in Kentucky State God, Penitentiary, damn. which, for the record, is a fucking castle. Naturally, it's a castle. Rocking nice. up to a maximum security prison full of. Probably the installation's not that good, which is not nice, actually. ...of the worst hardened mm. convicts I mean, prison, imaginable so. come, as a 15-year-old boy would be a little bit nerve-wracking, to say the least. No matter how much of a hard yeah, man act I imagine. we try and put on. Our butthole brawler, as a result of this, tried to do a the lot BB? more than just w, not w? He started throwing hands. He Damn. got into fights constantly in prison. There was, however, one man who, quite frankly, scared Fleece. Huh? A Tyrese-type character, a big, muscular, 30-year-old black man who stared down... Okay, I, I feel like we're bordering a line here that I'm not sure I want to approach. ...in the now 16-year-old Fleece, but, like a cut of fish. Yeah, that dude's meat. huge, though. This Tyrese made the mistake of provoking Fleece after brushing against him with his dick in the showers. Huh? Fleece responded okay. to this by... Okay, how the hell does that happen accident? That was not an accident. That, that, that was... That was yeah, shanking no. and slashing Tyrese oh. with a chipped piece of glass that Ooh. he found in his commissary. This yes, could did suck. indeed result in Speaking Tyrese getting humbled by the young booty bad boy. But at the cost of said booty bad boy <laughs> being sent to Eddieville, the Eddieville? maximum security Ooh. wing of the prison. The dungeon of Castle Damn. Gay Skull, if you will. The little fish had just bit the big fish and had now been dumped in an in even bigger, bigger pond. Fish. By 17 years old, Fleece Johnson was acclimated with his new home, Eddieville. And that's when he started noticing things. Like how all of the inmates were hooting, hollering, and calling each other the word for African Americans, which Fleece really didn't like. Mm -hmm. After some shenanigans in the cafeteria involving cheese, uh, the booty badass ended up swinging with an entire table of white inmates. Oh, they, oh god, this was the usual. You hear stories about this in US prison the white, black, the different race. Uh, like they stay together and they fight each other or something. Well, because apparently cheese was somewhat verboten in Eddieville because cheese consumption was a sign of gang membership. To which Fleece promptly huh? ignored all of that bullshit and started eating a full block of cheese Damn. right in front of people. God Which damn, a full block of cheese. How did you have a full block of cheese? And caused a fight. That's, I mean. Is eating cheese a gang thing? Smartest reason to start to fight in prison. In prison, I've, I've really never heard of that one. But nope, anyway, for never heard of this as well. ruckus, Fleece was put in the shoe, the secure housing unit, mm-hmm. also known as solitary confinement, also known as. Crazy home. place. And not the kind he liked being in. I mean, nobody Upon wants to getting be out of the shoe, probably. Fleece was immediately put into a new cell with a new bunk oh, God. A large black man by the name of Big Doc, who, according Big to Fleece, Dog. and I quote... Bro, you didn't need to say he's a large black man. His name is Big Dog. If he was a small dude, that'd be insane. Had the body of King Kong or some shit. But things were not going to work out between them. Uh-huh. Big Doc liked to do a bit of trolling, you see, oh, and God. Fleece didn't like being trolled <laughs> epic style. This what did he was do? bound to cause a conflict. What did he do? Big Doc's preferred method of winding up his uh-huh. peels was grabbing a balloon, filling it with baby powder and... Sp- How do they have a balloon in the maximum prison? Cement, then jamming it into a hole in the wall that would burst upon being touched. It's a pretty fucking weird troll, but yes. I guess there really isn't much to what? do in prison. But Big Dog <laughs> asked Fleece to touch it. Fleece didn't like whatever the fuck touch was it. going on and said no. Big Dog then flew into a tard rage because Fleece didn't play along with the joke, and then he moved in to attack and presumably rape Fleece. Oh, yo? But Fleece had a shank on him, and he proceeded uh, to start stabbing okay. the ass. First off, how the hell does this motherfucker have a shank on him at all times? Like, he's shanked people, like, 15 times already. How? Out of Big Doc. 
The booty butcher was then very quickly booty put back in the shoe. Aww. It was during this time in the shoe that Fleece Johnson had experienced something. A little nagging voice in the back of his head whispering to him about how all of the apex predators in all of the men's prisons were the gay ones. What? The ones that wouldn't just beat the shit out of you, but, but also beat your bussy black and blue. Fleece needed to become... I mean, that would scare me a lot. I'm gonna be honest. If I was a prisoner, I knew somebody would beat my ass, and then if he won, he'd take my booty. Yeah, nah. Mm, <laughs> nah. The booty breaker. Nah. The booty bulldozer. The booty breacher. Stop, okay, stop, stop. He needed to become <laughs> the booty warrior. Booty this warrior. rectal revelation was indeed the slow booty baptism a rear end ranger needed. <laughs> as when he was out of the shoe and in the showers, he was changed. Evolved. Oh my god. That is when a brother with a royal rump enters the shower besides Fleece, to which, after royal gazing rump. upon the gat for a few seconds, he realised that despite all that had come before, he couldn't bring himself just yet to take the booty. Not yet? No sensei. I'm not ready. Despite okay. that, though, the seed had been planted. Oh, my God. And now it must be... No, the seed was not planted. It was not sprayed yet, okay? Not sure. Not yet. And grow. Fast forwarding 10 years, a 27-year-old oh. Fleece Johnson... Dang, you wait a long ass time. Oh, God, don't say ass in that sentence. Wank, when he realizes just how boring it is, with incarceration at 16 and being surrounded by nothing but rapey, homoerotic men since, he has no frame of reference whatsoever of the opposite I mean, yeah, sex. makes sense. He upgrades to porno magazines, but their effect is fleeting. Mm. It is here at his wits end sexually, paired with the shower rump of 10 years yore, plus countless idiosyncratic homosexual encounters, that Fleece's suppressed superpower what? must have awakened. The superpower guy, a superpower now? Tenacity for doom oh guy ultraviolence, Fleece Johnson gained a reputation very, very quickly. Oh, God. One that he would always carry with a perverse pride. You see, Pride? before, Fleece had a rightfully earned reputation for being something of a warrior. A shucking and jiving gen pop brawler with a propensity for making knives appear in close proximity around him. But now, with this TikTok shake <gasps> going on, it was mixing and mutating into something not only... Why do we have jump scares in the video? ...only more violent, but also something much more horny. In simple terms, the booty warrior had awakened. This anal enlightenment could not have come at a more just time because more inmates' just privileges time. were just being taken away ah. due to newcomers who were causing a ruckus. Oh, so God. some so people were they rather be angry at these newcomers, including Fleece. Oh, so God. upon finding the newcomers and their unwieldy prime meats in the showers and noticing their glistening gats, well... Okay, is this how I look when I say gat to y'all? Because... I think I'm about to stop saying that shit. As for what happened next, <laughs> uh, no details known, no mercy shown. Oh, After God. tasting the carnal delights of booty, Fleece became something of a philosopher, a boy pussy a ponderer, if you will. For in his sphincter studies, <laughs> what was revealed to him during his meditations boy was that he didn't have to necessarily take us all the time. He merely had to threaten or coerce them enough, and usually they Bit would stuff. just hand it over. I mean, you don't wait. All... Hand the asshole? Always have to be violent. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to give a person a little push. Oh God, I'm afraid. <laughs> this is so funny. It up. is. Fleece, it's by nuts. this point in his journey, yeah. was a walking buck breaker. A patron saint of sodomy, if uh -huh. there ever was one. But a now certifiable there is. snake eater. And he didn't discriminate. Because in October of 1990, he was convicted for repeatedly assaulting a guard and probably trying... Well, okay, first off, how do you repeatedly assault the guard? Like, I imagine that if after once, first off, you'd be in the hole forever and the guard would probably quit his job. Repeatedly. As in twice or more? What? Maybe he did he trying to fill up their booty. For this, he got an additional twenty years added to his sentence. I mean, at this point, he's probably Though, never of gonna course, leave. When Fleece wasn't That's his home now. Or coercing booty into his service, he was instead playing poker. Ah, oh, oh god. 
Oh That's god, oh god, oh god, I can already see how they're gonna... So if they get a debt, I, I imagine he has a way for them to repay the debt. Oh god. As in a euphemism, he really liked the card game poker. Oh, this is gonna be bad, brother. It's prison. And other than partaking in the Darwinian rape caste system, what else are you going to do? True. But it turns out that Fleece Johnson was really, really good at I mean, That's all he did, probably. So he won himself so a lot sense. of money and commissary. Things that go a long, long way in prison and can buy you oh, a lot of God. This deep maybe knowledge booty. of the can buy psyche booty. and terrifying presence paired with Fleecy's hustler grind set at poker hustler meant that he the prison social ecosystem <laughs> like the back of his hand. And he also had the money and and the back of a lot of prisoners, rather influence to bend it to his will. Uh. He had the potential to be an anal archon. Douche derriere the second. But did he though? Nah, fuck that noise. He just decided to be wholesome God, and damn. send all of the money he won huh? to his nieces and nephews uh. to get them through school. But he is a passion, not a hustle. Though those lines would very often interject. Now, Intercept. for those of you who are familiar... Okay, I did not expect that from him. I thought he was going to take a lot more booty. Yeah. Here with prison etiquette and culture, the preferred currency of the cell blocks is cigarettes. Cigarettes? Oh yeah, I've seen that movie. It's currency because it's a socially accepted vice. Mm. It's relatively safe to consume. I mean, not exactly, but you know what I mean. In prison, frankly, it's probably the prison, least of your worries. Everyone's a smoker because. Yeah. Why else you is boring as shit. <laughs> I think the rules oh, in prison God. have changed now, but back in the day, cigarettes were used as currency. Mm. Nowadays, I believe it's just commissary yes. stuff. How many cigarettes for a booty hole? We need to know. Cigarettes were king. And people, very, very often, owed fleece cigarettes. Oh, due to the yep. fact that he was very, very good. Okay, I think, I, I, I thought it was going to be from poker, but maybe... Yeah. At poker. Yeah, exactly. So, when they didn't pay up on their it. cigarette Oh, then, God, I wish I didn't well, know it. There, there was another currency that they could pay him in. Yes. <laughs> that is to say, Fleece would very often Booty. go from bumming fags to... You know... <laughs> you know like, I think bumming fags, it doesn't mean exactly what most young... People take it. I think they, yeah, taking cigarettes. I think, yeah, I think it's a sentence for taking a cigarette from a friend. The man like yes. his legal tender. We get where that's going. Tender. Oh After God. 20 years in the slam, our fleece Damn. was starting to feel that loneliness getting to him a little bit. Mm. Those days, cooped up in the cell, were just getting lonelier and lonelier. So okay. he decided to try and find himself a good prison wife. He finds a good candidate, a, prison a pretty wife. boy that on the outside would probably be considered something of a ladies' man. A stud. Oh, God. Like me, but on the in okay. inside, this guy was just pent up sexual energy, unable to release it because if he did, he would get mauled and plowed by people like Flyboy Fleece. Oh, that's an awful and that sentence. Is what Fleece wanted. And Plow the him. kicker. He apparently had a very nice booty. Uh, After hearing that's our pretty boy complaining important. about how the prison is rather homoerotic <laughs> and filled with swaggering sissies and real thong-clad thugs, Fleece thong -clad jumps down thugs. to this jiving jailbait and finds him getting absolutely cock-rocked pelvis deep hey, by yo? one of those same sissies that he was just complaining about. In simpler terms, Fleece's unknowing fiancé was already claimed they and his wife. by a fluttering Shit. lady thug. Cucked by a glitter boy Quandarius Gaga type. Okay, that, bro. sadly... Was Where did he get the sentences from? I'm curious. Bro, he did, he did not. What? End of Fleece's short-lived love quest. Nah, nah, he so needed to conquer the, the bride. So the system and other prisoners were all very, on the head. very aware of who Fleece Johnson was. I, of but course they were. Dude is like, a, like, he's older than the prison at this point. <laughs> no one outside of the prison had any idea. Oh, Surely shit. some people who got booty bothered by him would have mentioned Fleece Johnson after... Would you mention that you got booty destroyed in prison by a big ass black dude? Hell no, on multiple times just because you owe them two cigarettes? Bro, no prison, I wouldn't. Really? You're gonna get out of prison and tell the homies that you get used as a yeah, flashlight. Yeah, no one's gonna do that shit. Oh my you're god, that sentence. The homies, that. <laughs> no one's saying that to the no, homies. 
The worst CIA You're dying with that imaginable shit. couldn't get that out of me. So the world at large had no idea who Fleece Johnson was. But they were about to find oh out. Oh my, how? Fleece's big buck break finally came on July buck the 9th, break. 2005. 2005. When MSNBC arrived at Kentucky State Penitentiary I mean, I see to the film BC. their documentary series, Lock Up. To which, of course, the booty warrior makes his debut at 51 years old and still 51. rapey as fuck. Oh. Stabbed him, piped him. Oh, God, we're actually going to meet the man. Knocked him out. This is known all over Kentucky. This is what I did. It was this edition of Lock Up Raw that would finally Damn. introduce the wider world to our it beloved was raw. booty bandit who spooked the absolute heebie-jeebies out of everyone with his nonchalant fanaticism see for that. big booties for the and booty. the fact that the word no wasn't exactly part of his lexicon. A full character <laughs> breakdown was no, also yes. given of things, yes, including yes. very official-looking psychologists still, yes. and prison guards trying to recount the booty ballad oh, God. with a straight booty face. Ballad. And they mostly succeeded. Fleece also had the decency to warn the upcoming generation of convicts about fashion etiquette in Castle Gay Skull. You know, they got this thing where they shave their pants past their butt. It's a style, they call it some sort of gangster style. You know, it's sexy to us. Right? Yeah, he missed the gangster part of the, of the era. Previous, oh god, to him it was an invitation. Oh god! Tupac, no! no. This, right? so, I mean, Tupac's dead, so he probably couldn't see that shit, but. But it was around this Isn't point that, that simple? Fleece Johnson actually started winding down a bit. Oh. I mean, he was going into his 50s, what about the wife, and though? the younger inmates with the fat booties didn't really want to give an old man like him a piece. And he doesn't really have the vigor to pursue any young man's vigor. And he straight booty. up admitted this to the documentary crew. Of course, wording it so that it was very, very evident that he was eyeing up their booty. Yeah, I had been in her back then in them days, and as much as I like booty, I probably felt one of y'all butts. Hey yo. And y'all was walking past me. As you could probably imagine, Fleece's and By the way, he does not have an upper lip. That is kind of weird. Higher appearance on Lock Up Raw lip. became a massive fucking meme. Did embodying it? and reinforcing this the stereotype what? I've never of heard of this. being a zesty Have you place full of fruity fellas that will fruity pounce fellas. on you the second you drop the soap. <laughs> one such person oh, who God. got a light bulb moment from such a character is one acclaimed cartoonist and professional black person, Aaron Magruder, who developed a comic series turned TV show that you might person. have heard of called The Boondogs. Oh! The I love the Boondogs. That shit is fucking fire. If you haven't watched it, you need to watch it. It's hilarious. Docs, season three, episode eight. I haven't gotten there. I'm on season two. Chris Hansen square off against his greatest threat yet. The Booty Warrior. What? Who willingly walks into the sting knowing it's a sting so that he may get within arm's reach of his true goal, Chris, Chris Hansen's sweetmeats. I tell you what, I like you and I want you. Now oh. we can do this the easy God. way, or we can do it the hard way. Bro, no, don't say that. The, way. the choice is yours. Well, I don't think you and I will be doing anything any uh -huh, kind of Chris. way. Okay, I, I see you choosing the hard way. Oh, no. This interpretation of our gaped crusader <laughs> naturally further entrenched the booty warrior's legend the into the warrior. black cultural zeitgeist. And Fleece Johnson fucking hated it. Oh. Fleece absolutely oh. hated it because it showed the need for fleece to assault a man to get his oh booty. he thought he was when, too slick for as it as we all know damn, this a lot of the time he didn't need to do that he didn't have to run to the booty the booty, the booty ran to him how did he learn this power well he had a high speed skill you see the serial gay rapist objected to his portrayal as an aggressive serial gay rapist there's a difference. Is there? 
Now, a very long time ago, I actually mentioned Fleece Johnson on a podcast and I got an email from a prison guard who claimed to have worked in the same prison. Oh, inside. And for the life of me, oh, I cannot find the email oh, anywhere. Oh, come but on. What the prison Brother. guard told me was that if anyone, guards or other prisoners, mentioned that Boondocks episode to what him happened? or God they got forbid, fingered? called him the booty warrior, Fleece would just start swinging. Oh, shit. He would just go into an absolute fit of rage and start attacking everyone around him oh. to the point where it took about five guards to restrain him. Damn. He fucking hated it. Oh, he right. absolutely hated the meme Damn. that he had become. Between oh. 1981 and 2013, that, I mean, Fleece Johnson had maybe been it's up the old for age. parole upwards of 13 times. Okay, listen, with somebody with his uh, proclivity, proclivity, whatever you saw that with the big ass words, should not be allowed in the free world, okay? I don't think so. were fruitless, primarily over the assaulting of officers and supposedly trying to fuel them up while doing so. Good. However, a not the, of the assaulting of officers, but. As on July the 28th, 2015, a hearing occurred that recommended oh, a parole Why? Who, who, who recommended this? I want to see the man or the woman's face. They should not be doing that job anymore. No, 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 no. I don't care if this dude is 95. He's a danger to every butthole in, in his proximity. Happy days. Okay. The proposed date, September the 1st, 2015. Oh, so, God. did he get out then? I don't know. There's actually a bunch of conflicting sources as to when exactly Fleece Johnson was liberated from Castle Gayskull. But by 2016, he was a free man. Why? <laughs> the absolutely insane Why? gay rapist is out. Of, he's out. He's out. He's walking and around. Not only a gay rapist, he shanks people. Repeatedly, he's shanked everybody in there. And he's pr probably the exact same streets that you take to work every morning. He's out. He's walking around and roaming the streets, booty warrior unchained. So, how has Fleece reintegrated into society now that he's a free man after 44 odd years in prison? Well, to the surprise of absolutely no one, he didn't. it's been Took a booty? difficult for him. On top of the assumed difficulty of finding work due to being an ex-convict, Fleece actually... A special ex-convict? had difficulty getting and holding jobs because of his lockup and boondocks reputation as the booty warrior. Well, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. If this was another man, maybe I would feel bad for him, but nah, fuck that. Mm, don't say it like that. I, I, good. Good. Naturally, people would be rather uncomfortable with a 60-year-old <laughs> gay rape legend handing them their Big Mac. <laughs> But yeah, despite rape all of this, legend. Fleece persevered and not only seemingly got himself some income, but also got himself a wife. Seem not a prison wife, a, a woman, an, an actual fucking woman. And it seems... Is she mentally sound? ...to be consenting. Normally, I wouldn't have to say that, but, you know. So, where is our retired rump wrangler mm. now? Well, you can actually find him giving interviews I don't want to find on a YouTube him. channel. I don't want him to. I don't want to find him. I don't want to see him. I don't want him to find me. I know, called Hustler Spirit. Practically, all of the information that we sourced for this video was from these interviews. Though no. I will admit, we skimmed no. and omitted so much of Thank it you. for two reasons. Thank you. One, YouTube is probably already my sanity. enough with what we've covered in this video, and two, I'm not watching all of that. Thank it's you. literal hours of Fleece Johnson reciting stories from his uh -huh. time inside. Hell no. Nah. It is an absolute goldmine of some very fucking funny or really fucking harrowing tales Bradley from Bolt. behind bars. Reminiscing about Booty and how after all of these years, he seems to miss it. It's okay. really surreal. His wife must know about this. How do you marry a man like this? I'm just curious. What sort of woman does it take to be like, yeah, that's my mom. That, 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 that is who God's going to connect me to. Going through all of the footage and seeing a certifiable rape legend in his 60s sitting there as a wearing early statement. mid 2000s swag, like the nondescript dollar sign oh snapback and the obligatory gold chains. And thus ends the ballad of the Booty Warrior, a tale of a man who went to prison 
really and loved he's now in pre and then left prison on YouTube to become a podcaster. Cool. The story of cool, practically YouTube. every single ex-con podcaster. Also, Pretty I much, had yeah. nowhere in the video to actually put this, but Fleece Johnson is actually very, very good at doing voices. Here we see him showcasing his sublime improv skills and stunning vocal range. I'm afraid. So, use our uh, old man drunk. Hey, Lee John, what's up, man? Who's that? It's a black man. Uh, what's up, black man? It's a drunk, man. Hey, drunk, what's going on? I uh, ain't nothing. Uh, hey, uh, I'm gonna tell, uh, Celine to see you sitting down, all right? All right, baby, tell me. Hey, Celine. Yeah. What you saying, uh? Man, I got 30 voices, nigga. You can never have my voice. Okay, this guy's a weirdo. I don't want to watch anymore of him. I'm gonna be honest, I'm creeped out. Anyway, I, 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 I hope you enjoyed this story of the Booty Warrior. Let me know what y'all think about the Booty Warrior and what you think about him being released from prison. He's out there. The Booty Warrior is out there, so you better eat what you what your grandma tells you to eat, or you might get visited by the Booty Warrior. You don't want that. Trust me, you don't want that. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, bye. Holy